Hey, what's going on guys? Intimidation here, and I'm going to be covering another journal entry for my Fidole Hayati colony. And uh, if you know what Fidole is, it's it tends to be a dimorphic um, species of ant. Um, anytime you see the genus Fidole, usually it's dimorphic, which means two specific size worker casts. There is the uh, the worker and the soldier and they usually have a drastic um, difference between their sizes. Um, usually there's uh, the soldier has a big blocky head used for either milling seeds or um, ripping apart uh, insects or helping in, in uh, blocking the nest or any such thing like that. And the workers just do, you know, the mini the uh, everything else, you know, probably helping along with uh, what they do, as, what the soldiers do as well, and taking care of the young and, and that sort of thing. And uh, I'm just gonna, what I'm gonna show you today is really just kind of a basic ant behavior that uh, really got me into ants. It's it's kind of like a, uh, it's kind of like the calling card, if you will, of ants. They're just, they're really, they work really well together. Um, they're, they, they communicate, you know, really well they it's it's one of the it's one of it's one of the things that attracted me to ants and uh, it's uh, it's quite fascinating and uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna drop in some termites right here in the foraging area and in the foreground right in the middle of the screen here is the tube in which is is leading to their nest and, it, and this tube leads into the foraging area here and I'm just gonna drop in some termites in the top here and I'll show you how quickly they communicate upon finding termites. I'm trying to get one right in the middle of the screen so you can see it. Okay. And what will happen is we'll be a scout senses the termite goes back to the nest and tell the others before you know it there'll be a lot of workers out here On the left is a uh, soldier, um, somewhat bigger than the than the workers, and they get larger than that. Um, they're going to continue to grow. This is still a pretty young colony. There's another soldier that came out, and look at all the activity just in a matter of seconds here. And uh, this is uh, all it takes is one ant to tell everybody else, and they follow a pheromone trail back to where that worker came from, and leads them right to the the food source. And that's how ants communicate. Ants, think of think of ants communicating in the way that humans use words to communicate. They communicate instead of communicate with communicating with words, they communicate with smells. So as many different words as there are in the human vocabulary, any language, there are different scent smells for ants. So they communicate in that regard. And uh, they are just swarming all over these termites. So. Really fun to watch. They work well together. Um, usually what happens is if I put a termite in there that's basically, you know, healthy and can walk around on its own, what the ants will do is pin it down like they're doing on the right there. And they'll just slowly work it, work uh, the termite carcass back to the nest. But if you throw a dead one in there, like the one on the right, they'll just simply drag it back. Whoever gets it first. 
because uh, they want to they want to disable uh, you know a uh, a healthy termite you know somebody something that can run away or you know maybe bite you know termites can bite but they're they're not very uh, they're not very successful against ants, especially worker termites. Um, I have put soldier termites in there before, and what I usually do is I crush their head because I don't want to injure my workers. Um, soldier termites are pretty much built for shearing ants in half. That's what they do. Um, soldier termites are specifically um, engineered to defend against ants. So if you ever feed your ants termites and you feed them soldiers, be sure to injure them before you put them in there, or kill them at least. Alright.